All right. The uh, the gate was 1.3 million. It's the highest grossing sporting event in the arena's history. The um, Perform we did, we did four performance of the nights instead of a fight, uh, no fight of the night. We did uh, Tom Breeze, Stewart, Silva, and Allen. Those guys all got fifty thousand dollars. So congratulations to them. Who's got the first question? What's up, buddy? How much? Was that a tough tough call on the bonuses? First of all, that uh, Amir Khan and Knight fight was pretty entertaining as well. Yeah, I agree. It always sucks. It's never fun doing the bonuses. Let's talk about the main event. Internet's blowing up right now. Everybody's debating, you know, oh, yeah. how to have his school. My phone's one. blowing up. Everybody's texting me. Robbery. Till one. This and that. It's, it's one of the, 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 after the fight, they all looked at me and said, who do you think won? I said, I have no idea. Every round was so close. You know, when you have rounds that are so close, you almost sort of lose track of scoring and, and trying to figure out who won. It was, it's, you know, it's a, it was a tough fight to score. Darren Till seems like a star in the making. I mean, undefeated. He's, he's got kind of that X factor. Obviously, it was great in Liverpool this week. But the weight issue certainly a big issue. So, you know, give me that. That's idea. only happened one time. Right. It's happened only one happened. time, and he has an excuse for it. But I'll let him tell you why it happened and, and what went on. You know, I don't think it's my place to talk about it. So um, I'll let him tell you when he comes in. Okay, so that would be my question, because obviously he looks in line for a big fight. He wants big names. You do feel comfortable with him that, hey, he can make well to weight, and, we, and we, we can use this kid. I do. I do. Hey, Dana, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Very well, thank you. Um, what about, he's been talking about wanting to bring a stadium fight to, to the UK. He's obviously got a lot of heat behind him. You know, he's a tremendous young man. But there's a history of our best fighters going over to Vegas, going over to America. To he's fight. going to Vegas next, buddy. I hate, to, I hate okay. to break your heart, but he's going to Vegas next. Yeah. I don't know him. when or where he'll, you know, when or who will fight, but probably bring him to Vegas next. So it's not a title fight next. He hasn't earned that yet. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Right? I don't make fights the night of the fights. So off the top of my head, I have nothing for you. Do you have the feeling that this, the, 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 it's going to be a groundswell of Brits traveling over like the Irish travel for McGregor, like they did for Ricky Hatton? He's got that kind of working man, blue collar feel about him. Do you know this guy is going to bring lots of people to America? I don't know that, but uh, I wanted to do this fight here. I, it's what I want. You ask any of my matchmakers, they'll tell you this is the fight that I wanted really bad. And, it, it, you know, the atmosphere, nobody supports their people, man, like the English and the Irish, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's very cool to see. It's fun. I mean, the soccer game yesterday is, is, is you know, for, for these two events back to back and the amount of people and the, it's, it's, it's so cool to come over here. We have a whole setup now at the UFC where I can run the shows right from the office. I'm like, fuck that shit. I'm, go I'm going to England, man. I want to be there in Liverpool for this fight. I wasn't missing this for nothing. Finally, you, you, you came to Liverpool. Are you going to come back here again? Yes, we will be back to Liverpool again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hiya. Hi. Uh, Craig White took the uh, co-main event slot on, I think it was 12 days notice. Um, obviously, it didn't go his way, but what, what's his future in the UFC? Yeah, I don't know. You know, we'll, we'll, he took this fight on short notice. We'll definitely give him another opportunity. I love that. I love when guys step up like that, and uh, we appreciate him. And he'll be back. You know, tonight. You know, he's he, he's in his home country. You, you, uh, you know, it's tough enough get, getting those UFC jitters the first time. So let him shake them out and give him another opportunity to come in and, and perform again. And. Uh Neil Magny says that he wants Kamara Usman next. Is that a fight that interests you? I do interest. I am interested in that fight. And you know what? The thing is, is that Neil Magny uh, is a great guy who always steps up and delivers, and uh, we have a lot of respect for him. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if Usman is is going to be next, but we're going to give him something he wants. I, I, I get where he's going with that. So we'll, we'll we'll get him going in the right direction. Uh, we got uh, UFC Hamburg scheduled on uh, July. Uh, we got uh, UFC Moscow for September. Are you planning to uh, make a fifth uh, UFC event in 2018? Uh, that I don't know yet. You know, we're, we're going to get over there and do Moscow, see how it goes, and then go from there. 
I'm looking forward to that one too. Uh, there was talk of you having a meeting with Conor McGregor in Liverpool. Was that supposed to take place at this event or is, was that a behind closed doors event? I, I thought that was going to be the first question I got when I walked in here. I'm proud of you guys. Yeah. Um, the slow build up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, Conor and I are going to meet in Vegas. You're going to meet in Vegas? Yeah. And what is the situation with you two? Are, are you on good terms at the moment or is that to be decided when you meet? Yeah, I mean, he and I haven't seen each other since New York, so we haven't seen each other, we haven't talked, nothing, so we need to get together soon. I mean, I'm, I've been hearing he's been in training. Are your thoughts right now on getting a fight booked with him before the year is over? Is that something that fans can expect? It depends on what goes on with him in New York in June. Okay. Cheers. There are, there are four Italians now in UFC, and... Uh, hey. And hi. There are four Italians now in UFC. Do you think that could be something, an event, maybe next year in uh, in Italy. In Italy? Yeah. Yeah, well, well you know, Italians now. We're, we're starting to get some Italian guys now, so uh, Lorenzo Fertitta's probably happy. He's been waiting for that for 20 years. Um, but, but yeah, I, 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 uh, I would love to do an event in Italy. Would love to. And, and, and to do these events in these different markets, you can go there without having you know, people from that area. But, man, it helps. It helps when you have some, some good fighters, some good talent from the area. And we're starting to get some guys. So, yeah. Cool. First of all, Daniel, thank you for bringing a great event over to the UK again. Thank you. Um, obviously, the success of tonight, would you consider showing, obviously, different cities with someone like Tom Breeze being from Birmingham? Would you consider going to a city like that? You got to slow down, my man. <laughs> would, 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 would I be interested in what? Something with Tom Breeze? So you've got Tom Breeze, who's obviously from Birmingham. Yeah, would look consider, great. Look great tonight. It's good to have him back. Would you consider going to Birmingham again? Yes, absolutely. Perfect. Yes. So, uh, Dana, you said a lot is to be decided of Connor's career, depending on how things happen in June. Uh, if, if well, we can't, we can't determine anything about what's next for him until June is cleared up. If ideal scenario, things go, things go smoothly, Everyone's talking about Khabib versus Connor. Is, is, would that, you know, like, like I said, fingers crossed, things go as planned. Is that a plan for you? I'm, I'm pretty confident that that is the fight that Connor wants, and I'm pretty confident that that is the fight that Khabib wants. So, yeah, I could see that happening. And I uh, got to ask as well uh, last time we saw Alexander Gustafsson, he looked phenomenal. Uh, well, there was the fight with Rockhold was supposed to be happening. That's off the table now, it seems. Uh, what do you see for a future for Gustafsson? He's, he's so yeah, close, but not... No, we have to get him another opponent. Yeah, we're going to keep him on that card and get him another opponent. Yeah, Rockhold screwed up his shin, so... And, you know, just off the top of your head, who would that opponent be? No clue. No clue right now. Okay. That's what i got to work on when I get home. Okay, thank you. Cool. Dana. Yeah. Right here in front of you. Um... The ESPN deal. So if you had all the potential broadcast partners on the list, was ESP, ESPN and, and all their kind of platforms number one on that list for you? Obviously, if you look at, you know, ESPN wouldn't cover us, you know, not too long ago. And now we're on ESPN. We're, we're in business with Disney. It's, it's probably the most monumental thing that has happened uh, in the history of this company. In the history of the sport for everyone. It's big. I don't care how you're involved in this sport, this deal that we just cut is big. So we're going to get 42 events next year. Right. What about UFC Fight Pass? Will we see any events from the UFC on Fight Pass? Uh, yeah, you, you know, the, the ESPN deal is just in the United States. Right. So, yeah, Fight Pass is the rest of the world. Right, okay. Uh, but will there be any kind of, I suppose, Fight Pass exclusive events? That's probably what I meant. I think so, yeah. yeah. Okay. And, you know, look, you know, it's, it's been nice to get two events here in England this year. Uh, I agree. Both in London and in Liverpool. Yep. Um, moving forward, is that something that perhaps we can expect? You know, you know you've got, you know, Bisping still perhaps has one more fight left in him. Darren Till now is probably going to be the next big star to carry and be the face of the promotion here in the UK. What, what, what can, uh, I suppose, fans uh, and people expect for the UFC's plan specifically here in the UK? Yeah, um, you know, th this has always been a very important market to me. And since day one, this was one of the no-brainers for me. And the, the sport has grown incredibly here. And uh, we have a lot of stars coming out of this place now. It's, you know, we, uh, we're going to continue to do what we do.
Thanks. Thank you.